Hey guys, welcome to Functional Print Friday. Feeling a bit under the weather today, but I didn't want to miss a Friday, so I figured we'd just do a simple easy one. We're here in my office, and this is also where I edit the Functional Print Friday videos. And not too long ago, I had just two monitors on this desk. Really wanted to get a third one up here, but I needed a way to free up some of the space on the surface of the desk. And one of the things that was up here is the preamp for my audio. I have an external DAC um, that connects to the computer uh, that also acts as a preamp. So I've got a volume control on here, and then that further sends the sound over to that amplifier there, and then out to those two speakers on the other side. Well, this guy, it's got a decent sized footprint and was sitting up here on my desk. And from a size perspective, it fits within this gap here, but I didn't want to just set it down on top of the computer. Um, this needs ventilation. I needed to maintain good ventilation for the computer. So what I did is I just designed a set of brackets that essentially it slides into. So there is a piece, a TPU piece here and a TPU piece here. And it forms essentially a slot that this guy slides right into and it's just a friction fit. I think I went through, uh, one side I left the same size. The other side I think I went through two iterations until I had the perfect friction fit where this guy just slid in here. Let me, uh, let me unplug the cables and I'll slide this out and I'll show you what I mean. All right, now that that's slid out, you can see it's vented on the top and it is vented on the bottom. And this thing is surprisingly heavy due to the type of uh, transformer that's in there. This thing probably weighs close to 15 pounds. Uh, so that's why I made the mounts uh, so beefy. But if we look in there now, you can see it's essentially just two rails. Uh, again, these are constructed from TPU uh, that this guy just slides into. And there's some recessed holes in here uh, that screw it into the sides of this desk, which is just a, it's just like a laminate over, I think, particle board. All right, so let's take a look at the design for this and see if there's anything I missed. Okay, and here is the design for that. And you can see there is only one because each side is exactly the same. Um, some notable features, all of the corners are beveled both for appearances and to make it easier to slide whatever you're mounting in place. Um, these holes are significantly recessed so that the screws or other fasteners, bolts, whatever you want to use uh, to attach this guy in place sit well below the surface. So when you're sliding um, your preamp or whatever you're mounting in place, there's no chance of it getting scratched up. So if you do want to print these, this is the face that would go down on your print bed. Um, I can't imagine these would be useful as is to anyone unless you happen to have the same IKEA desk and preamp um, that I've got, but hopefully this gives you an idea for maybe mounting something else, um, either in a cabinet or in your own desk. So guys, if this is your first time here, I do a new video like this every single Friday. The details of design that I've come up with or a guest design that solves a problem around the shop, around the house, outside, just overall makes something better. The STLs are always free, so if that's something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button. And guys, if you do, I will see you next Friday.